welcome on my YouTube channel. I can't believe that I'm saying that. I'm so happy to be here guys and to start this new journey with you guys. I've been thinking about doing YouTube for a while now and I'm really really happy that I finally decided to just start. Today's video will be a get to know me as a new YouTuber. Um, I'll pretty much answer questions so you guys can have like a better idea of who I am before starting to show my life with you guys. Um, which I'm so excited guys. So if you already subscribed, thank you so much. I love you This means the world to me and if you haven't please make sure to subscribe um, Like comment share subscribe that would mean the world to me. So before starting I just want to say I speak English and French uh, my channel will be in English and in French French is my first language. I'm more comfortable in French. So my English is not as enriched as I would want it to be, so I will for sure make plenty of mistakes. Um, so just be you know gentle and nice in the comments, as if I have all kinds of followers. <laughs> but um, in other videos will be in French, but the first one I wanted to do it in English, just so you know everyone can understand, um, and so that I can like reach out to more people. I just poured myself a nice glass of Aperol Spritz. So let's get right into it. First question, what's my full name? My full name is Sarah Ann Albergi. It's Sarah with an H dash Ann without an E because it's Sarah Ann and not Saha Ann. It's in English. Um, and Albergi, it's uh, my last name. Second question, how old are you? So I'm 28. Um, I'm already 28 guys. I'm so, I feel I'm so old and I'm so stressed with life. Um, but I just turned 28, so je me réconforte avec ça. What is your height? My height is, well, the last time I, I measured myself, um, it was five feet three and three quarters. So I'm just gonna say five feet four. Where are you born? and where do you live? So I'm born in Canada, in the province of Quebec, more precisely in, in Laval. I've always lived in Montreal, but I'm born in Laval. My origins, I always have a hard time saying that word. My mom is French Canadian, Quebecer, and my, I don't know why I did that, uh, and my dad is Italian. Yes, he's born over here, but he's a very Italian man. <laughs> uh, so I'm, French Canadian and Italian and very proud to be. A lot of people think actually that I'm Arab. Um, I get a lot of different countries. Honestly, like the first ones are, I would love to know in the comment what you guys think that I was, that I am or whatever, because I get, I get a lot like Moroccan, Algerian. I get a lot um, Lebanese. I get a lot Iranian. Iranian? I get a lot Ira Iranian guys, a lot, a lot, a lot. Moroccan and Iranian are the two top one. Um, yeah, all the time. Um, like they're, people never say Italian and I'm like, I don't know, I guess I look Arab, I don't know. Last time I went to my dentist, she asked me, are you Arab? And I'm like, no. Um, she's like, oh, you look like, and also your last name, I'm like, what do you mean my last name? She's like, it's an Arab. And she told me that albergi, uh, which means uh, in Italian, it means auberge. So if you go in Italy, you'll see a lot of albergo because albergo is auberge au singulier and albergi is auberge au pluriel. Uh, pluriel. So it means like model, hot, model. <laughs> it means hotel or like, yeah, but in Arab, it means, um, I don't know in English the word though, Ugh. but in French, in this, apparently it means like in this um <laughs> it's really random but so yeah do you have any siblings i do have a sibling i don't understand why everyone thinks that i'm like the only child i don't know if i should take that personally but i'm not guys i have an older sister she it's been a while that she's not living in montreal as soon as she finished her school she went in, in live in england for two years and then from England, she lived um, in Toronto and she's still living there. So it's been, I think, five or six years. Um, so it's been a while that she's not living in Montreal. So maybe that's why people think I'm like the only child, but I, I do have a sibling, an older sister. Her name is Sabrina and she's, 
turning 32 in October. In October. Do you have a boyfriend? I do not have a boyfriend. Did you go to school, like university? If so, what did you study? So I did go to school. Um, so over here in the province of Quebec, uh, we have CGIP. So it's in between high school and university. So in CGIP, usually it's like two years, but I did like a technique. So it, that's a three years program, um, three year program. Anyways, and I did fashion marketing in CGIP. And then after doing that three years, usually you can go like on the uh, work market. But I didn't, I wanted to pursue my study and I went to university and studied business. I did like business, human resources and marketing. Do you live with your parents? I do not live with my parents. Um, I just love living alone. I love, I really enjoy my alone time. Do you drink alcohol? If so, what is your favorite uh, alcohol drink? I do drink alcohol <laughs> um, and my favorite alcohol drink. That's a hard question because I, I love alcohol. I, I do enjoy obviously Aperol Spritz. I love like sparkle wine. I love like red, white. I'm more like a white wine type of gal. I don't, I don't like being that girl though, but I guess I am. It's just because like- Red white is a bit more, I don't know, like the next day I don't feel as good. So I just feel like it's easier. It's, I just, I just love white wine and I guess I'm that girl. Um, but I do love red wine too, okay? <laughs> Anyways, but I love margaritas. Oh my God, I love margaritas. And I love Negroni. That's a good drink too. What is your favorite type of food? Well, I love food in general. I love, I love food. Um, so I would say, I don't know, Italian food, obviously. But I love Indian food. I, I love Lebanese food, um, Mediterranean food. Like, I love Thai food. I love sushi. I love fish. Oh my God, I love fish. I was allergic to fish before. I'm not anymore. So for a, a big part of my childhood, I was not eating fish. At eight, I got my allergy. It was actually on December 24th. Yeah, I know. It was a bit of a dramatic night. Uh, my face was so swollen, guys. I literally look like a lion. I would say my I'm a bit like on a pequestrian, pequestrian uh, type of diet. My sister is vegan, so yes, she did a bit influence um, how I how I eat, if I may say. Not really, but yes. Um, I'm just more I'm trying to be get myself more like educated on the subject, but, but I do eat sometimes like Like chicken lamb and I love lamb. Oh my god. I love lamb. That's the thing. I love lamb. But I would say maybe Italian, you know You know, uh, I'm just gonna switch the slide. Like, have you traveled? Um, I did travel. I've been to Whoa I don't want to miss any, obviously, like United States, um, Barbados, Mexico, Cuba. It's true, I've been to Cuba with friends. Then I've been to Spain, I've been to England, I've been to Italy, I've been to Tunisia, I've been... That's the part where I can't find any other country that I travel to, but I'm sure I'm missing some. I think that's it. Cuba, Mexico, but that's it. I need to travel. <laughs> okay. Um, how many languages do you speak and what are they? So I speak two languages so english and french and i do understand uh italian my dad actually like a year ago um married um my stepmom and she's italian sofia so and they live with her mom which is italian also giovanna and i love her so much giovanna always like forget that i don't speak italian she's always talking to me in italian but i do understand like I'm not bad at understanding. I don't really talk. I can say a couple of things. I can sing you guys a song, but I won't. <laughs> I can say a couple of um, sentences, but not more than that. But I would love, 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 love to learn. 
Italian like like in the next 10 years or so like I want to learn Italian I find it's such a beautiful language so I really really do want to learn Italian because my dad is like fluent I mean it, it's, it's pretty much his first language well it is his first language what will you show on your YouTube channel that's a good question so it's gonna be a bit of everything actually like pretty much my life um, so it's going to be like lifestyle videos um, fashion skincare beauty um, I love cooking so probably a bit of a cook with me what is your favorite clothing store Zara who are some of your favorite youtubers okay guys if you don't know Rachel Rack Rackney Rack Rack Anyways, you need to follow her. I'll put like her name over here. Um, obviously, Julianne Hunter. Mm. Oh, um, what's her name? Fudge. What's her name? Oh my God, I have a white memory. Mm. Kenzie. Kenzie Elizabeth. She has such a beautiful name. Like, how can I forget? She's very inspiring, I find. Um, yeah. And I mean, I watch a, a couple of YouTubers, um, but my favorite ones are definitely Julianne Hunter, um, Rachel Rackney. Um, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Okay, well, Grey's Anatomy is for sure. Top three. Um, oh my God, so many. <laughs> uh, Money Heast, that was a really great show. Uh, Manifest, that was a really, really great show. Um, what else? Oh my God. Uh, Les Opératrices du Téléphone, it's really, really good. Girls, you need to watch that. Virgin River, so good. I just, in general, love watching everything that is like is educational. So I love watching like documentaries and stuff like that. Documentaries, yeah. I recently, I've watched um, the UFO. It's so interesting, guys. Um, a lot of them are like by Netflix. Um, en bref, in brief. That's a good one. Ça fait longtemps que je pas regardé. Um, it's been a while I haven't watched it. Um, but I've watched a couple about the Jewish religion, um, Orthodox, more precisely. And it was really interesting. I actually watched three documentaries about uh, the Jewish religion, but more precisely, like the uh, Orthodox. I would really, really recommend. Really interesting and educational as well. But I'll put them in the description box. Oh my god, I feel like a YouTuber. I love watching that section. I, I love like learning while watching. And I feel like less bad if I watch TV. At least I'm like learning things. Do you have any pets? I don't, but I would love a little puppy. Have you participated in any? I like did sports or do I still do sports? I don't do sports anymore like I do work out once in a while I, I like running outside I love running on the trail mill but I don't have a trail mill but I love running in general um, I mean I love working out I've always like did sports when I was younger so I did like tennis gymnastic um, like for a session but I got like a um, planter words that's the very plantar and then I got like six on the same foot and I just like decided to stop. <laughs> and then I, I also did like um, swimming, natation. But then, j'ai redoublé le rendu, je pas trop ouvert là. So I didn't pass my green level. So I just decided to stop doing that. And then my mom like put me into dance. And I've danced for like 10 years and I really, really enjoyed it. I did a bit of everything. I did a funky um, tap dancing. Well, la claquette for a long time, actually, like for six, seven years. Um, I've done ballet jazz, ballet, um, ballet at my school. I, I went to a girl's school. Oh my God, I didn't tell you guys. I, in high school, I went to a girl's school and I did ballet over there. And then I did hip hop and hip hop was my thing. Well, I really enjoy doing any like type of dance. Um, I dance like at least 10 years, 10, 11 years. I would love to start again, but like, I don't want to do like those, um, sh you know, at the end you do like a show, like a spectacle. Like, I don't want to do that. I just want to go and dance. I would love to 
do like a cramp you know like on a 2.2 bring it on you know when they're like dancing and fighting kind of i always wanted to try that um and at my dance school they had a class i didn't do it but i would love to try it. what do you do on your spare time i work out i listen to audiobooks i watch youtube obviously i like to cook um I guess sometimes I see friends, but it's not that much anymore. I, I do miss my friend. It's just, you know, we our life gets busy and uh, I feel like I have less and less spare time. But it's all about managing your time, guys. So, you know, when people say I don't have time, it's all about managing your time. Mostly work, work, work. So refreshing, so good your favorite song at the moment um yesterday my friend came to my apartment and she showed me a song which is called pull up by gabsy yeah and it's fire so i would say that's my favorite song for at the moment but i love music okay music is like a big part of my life i listen to music every single day next question what's your favorite perfume or what is your current perfume the perfume that i wear right now is versace bright crystal so it's the pink one i've been wearing that perfume since forever guys and i'm still today obsessed with it and a funny story because i got that perfume uh it's actually my first boyfriend who got me that perfume well my like second boyfriend whatever and I remember he asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I told him at that time, I think I was like 17 it's been a long time that I'm wearing that perfume my god, it's been like 11 years and I said, I don't want any necklace with a heart and I would love to have, I think it was it the, the Gucci one? no the Burberry one, I don't know if you guys can relate girls, but the Burberry one when we were like 17 Like 10 years ago was really happening and I told him I would love to have that perfume And guess what he got me? He got me a necklace with a heart and another perfume But you know what? He did the right thing. Anyway guys, this is all that I got for today's video Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got the chance to know me a little bit better um, I'm so excited for this new journey on YouTube um, Really looking forward to it and if you guys have any ideas, I do have other videos coming up shortly um, but if you guys have any ideas on what i could film for you guys please let me know in the comment below uh, make sure to like comment save and subscribe and spread the word out help a girl out um, that would mean the world to me so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Cheers.